welcome to the third video in our GIS lab practice lesson. In this video, we are going to take a look at the interface of our GIS software that is Quantum GIS or QGIS that we have installed in the previous video number two. So now I will launch my Quantum GIS by going to the start menu, then I will click on the Quantum GIS icon. When Quantum GIS loads for the first time, you will be presented with this interface. The small pop up box here is called the Quantum GIS tick box. So here you will see so many things or so many briefs that you can do with Quantum GIS. Just in case, if you don't want to be presented with this box in future, you can simply check that button. And whenever you launch your Quantum GIS, you will never be presented with that tick box again. So here is our Quantum GIS. This is the interface of our Quantum GIS. And Quantum GIS is just like any other software. From the top, we have the title bar. The title bar carries the minimize, the maximize, and the close button. And the close button. Then below the title bar, we have the menus bar, where you have all sorts of menus to navigate and manipulate the GIS program. From the left, we have the file, file menu, edit menu, view menu, layer menu, settings menu, plugins menu, vector, raster, database. Cards to analysis, web, and help. So, all these are found on the tools on the menu bar. Just below the menu bar, we have the tools bar where you have all sorts of icons linking to different programs or different applications or different functions on your Quantum GIS. So, you can actually reduce the number of tools bar you want to display and you can position this tool bar wherever you want to on your quantum GIS interface for example for now by default these are the tool bar that I enable on my own interface your own may look different depending on the version you are installing so if you want to enable more tools bar, all you need to do is to right click on an empty space and then all of these tools bar that are checked are those ones that are currently displayed on the interface. So if you want to display anyone, you make sure you check it from this option. If you want to disable anyone, you uncheck. So let's disable some few ones and you will see what I'm talking about. So can you see we have disabled this menu bar that, is, that was here, which is called advanced digitizing. So if you want to enable it back, I'll simply check it to enable it back. And I can position this menu, this title bar, this tools bar, so either on the left hand side at the bottom. Of the interface or at the right hand side of the interface just by clicking and dragging the menu and then placing it wherever I want to place it just like that if I want it at the bottom I do the same thing if I want it on the left hand side I do the same thing so it all depends on wherever on how convenient you think the menus are the tools, the toolbars are on your interface. So please feel free to customize your interface the way that suits you. 
So just below the tools bar, we have the layer panel. This layer panel is actually the area that is going to carry or hold all our map layer. We are going to see more of layer panel in future. So note that you can hide and show the layer panel. If you want to show the layer panel, you will simply right click on an empty space on the tools bar and then select layer to enable it. You can also maximize it and you can also minimize it. Just like that. So beside the layer panel, we have the map view area. This white blank area we are seeing is actually the area that will hold our map. So when we are dealing with any GIS project, as we are going to be doing in the subsequent video, our map will be displayed in this blank area. Then below the map view area, we have tools bar where you can also position more tools bar at the bottom of the interface. Then below the bottom tools bar, we have the status bar. This status bar actually displays the current position of our pointer. Just as you can see in the coordinate tab here, if I'm moving, if I'm moving my mouse on the map view area, the coordinate will be changing. Just like that. And then here we have the scale. When you have your map on your on your interface, you can scale, select the scale you want to view the map. Or you can type the scale you want to view the map. Just like that. And then here we have the ellipsoid. The protection system you are using on your map. All these are found on the status bar. So we are going to see detail of that in the subsequent video. So basically this is the interface of our quantum GIS. So I will stop here for this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.